Hey everybody, we're back here today with a little hotspot video. Today we're gonna do Xander hotspot, and with me I've got Kinsko, who's gonna help hello, me hello. out. Thank you, sir. We're gonna be doing some uh, Xander fishing, and he's gonna help test a little bit uh, what all these different hotspots are, and see if uh, we can pull a diamond for you. So we're gonna go ahead and show you where those places are now. Hello, Kinsko. I see uh, your awesome shirt. Yeah, yeah love I it. Think it's Perfectly themed for this video, you know. <laughs> I, I think so I too. Know. I'm an eager student. <laughs> I think so too. Okay, so the first spot is the easiest spot. So where we are right now is we're in the very first place that you um, spawn in here. So wherever the first, uh, what do you call this? The first outpost. So the first hotspot where I've got my diamond Xander is right here off these main docks. And I've seen many diamond Xander pull off of these docks. I know I've seen Tony pull one. I think Tony's maybe gotten more than one. Doan has also got one. Doan got a diamond Xander off of this dock on the EW Angler live stream, the tackle box stream with Jaxi. While Jaxi was fishing for Xander, he pulled the diamond right out of this spot. So this is a really good spot for big Xander. The only real thing about this spot is I don't get a lot of Xander here, but when we do, they're usually pretty big. Now, Xander like Rocky Cliff side, so you can kind of get Xander anywhere around here in this main lake along the cliff sides down in here two are good spots and then i also have a lot of luck with golds and big silvers along this coastline to the northwest up here get some good spots up here with xander so we're going to test out a couple spots today and see uh what kind of luck we can get out with them all right you so ready what, kinsko i'm ready but before we start i gotta ask one question yes what, what would you fish the xander with because uh i'm sure mm. the viewers will want to know that too yeah so that's a good point so if you guys don't know what xander like you can go to your main your menu here go to your handbook and hover over xander here so we got minnow grub and shad what i like to use is the grub i like to use the grub oh, i got it equipped here i've got a size 2 jig head i've got my bait caster here i've got my braided line and then I have a large grub and I like to jig with the grub and that's my favorite way to do it. What I like to do on here is when I cast, I cast it out, I let it sink all the way to the bottom and then I jig on the bottom for about 20 to 30 seconds and then I start reeling in at a one speed and that gives them time to um, come in and, and get attracted to the bait. So that's what we'll be doing. Are you, uh, do you have that stuff equipped? I'm, I'm ready. I just changed to a size two hook so you know. Those perfect better come in perfect all right well let's get going we'll go to the first docks uh here in a second sounds good and cut okay all right and then we'll do we'll just go like here all right and then we'll kind of do a three two one and then we can run over sounds good what we want to walk over not run we don't want to spook the fish that's true that's true yeah, yeah, all right it's important <laughs> <laughs> all right three two one go all right so the first place we're gonna go is here you can kind of go to any of these docks you can go to this dock here and then you can also go to pretty much any of the docks here at this main area to get xander i kind of like this one i like this I one here you can get some good ones here there's a pike down there and then you can kind of go out there too. You try this dock. I'm going to go out to this dock out here. Okay. I like this one the most. I've tried them yesterday as well, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And this one seems to be the best when you throw towards the one that I assume you're going to run to. Okay. Okay. I've noticed that that was the most consistent, at least for me personally. Gotcha. Okay. Now the other good thing about the grub is salmon aren't going to bite on the grub. So if you have a little bit lighter of a setup and you're worried about salmon, uh you know breaking off your line and kind of wasting your time grubs are a great option because the, the salmon won't bite on it now the pike will so you may get a big pike here and there but that's that's pretty much it however i had a salmon yesterday once on the grub but really it was like yeah it was like only once out of like 30 40 reels though so it was like gotcha yeah so all fish they all fish have a chance to be attracted to pretty much any lure but they have preferences and i've um really i don't remember ever having a salmon on the grub and i've probably casted i don't know how many times thousands of times so it's very rare 
Um, I that, maybe just got unlucky. Yeah, and I mean the salmon are the salmon. They'll they're gonna troll you. That's a decent sized roach there. Not um, nice. they're gonna troll you as best they can, no matter what. But um, yeah, there's always a chance that they'll bite on something, but it is very rare. So you probably just got pretty unlucky with it. I guess so. I mean, fits me and the angler, right? <laughs> I I mean. You have had you have had some um, rough luck on your most recent streams, that's for sure. And then off stream, you're pulling them in like crazy. Like uh, when we were testing things out the other day, you were pulling them in before I could. I was on fire. But... Yeah. When everybody's watching, the lights are on. All of a sudden, the luck dries up. I know, right? It's it's sad. Yep. Now I I will tell you, I saw this little bit of uh, wisdom earlier today, and I'm gonna. I'm going to use this in Tackle Tuesday tonight. Um, okay. uh, and I, I agree with this. I've decided that I never get skunked. I just run out of time. And that's it. Mm. Right? Sure, 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 sure. You know, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm going to say to that? <laughs> What's that? I've gotten podium each time, baby. <laughs> I've gotten podium. <laughs> That's true. I mean, you're not wrong. You you're not wrong. It was last place out of three, but I was right there with you. So, um, I thought like I can brag. Specifics, just podium. It's podium. That's okay. It counts. It counts, it's Jebba. Exactly. If you're watching, I got nothing on my first reel. Now the size two jig head that I'm using, um, it's really gonna filter out some of the the bronzes and like some of the small silvers as well. So. You're not gonna, this is definitely not a size jig head that I'm using that you're gonna be pulling just tons and tons of fish out unless you're in a spot where there are a good amount of large silvers and golds. But if there's just a few fish like this spot, you're not gonna be getting a whole lot every cast. So you'll probably want like the three and four here. Yeah, three and four. If you want to go for volume of fish, three and four will probably be good. Um, if you just want to fish for the big ones, a two and smaller or two and larger, I guess. So two, one, one odd, two odd, that kind of stuff. Okay, so what's the biggest one that you'll catch uh, a Xandron with? Like the or biggest there... si size fish? Uh, no, the biggest sized hook that you can use to actually get a, a Xandron. Or is I it... Don't remember Don't call off the top of my head you know i can actually look that up really quick though okay that's that, a that good might be helpful to know as well okay yeah that is a very good question so where i find this information everybody is i go to the angler official discord you go to the angler chat and go to the general chat and then you look at the pinned messages and in the pinned messages number one you're gonna see gaz who's one of the developers for the call of the wild the angler he pins a weekly newsletter in there a little bulletin kind of and uh he just talks about what they're working on and uh in this latest one he did tease a new map so potentially a new map but in there also are charts and the charts are going to tell you what hook size you can use for each uh, size fish for bronzes, silvers, and golds, and that's very handy. So here, bum, 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 we're gonna go to Xander. Biggest hook size is a two aught. Two aught, okay. you're only gonna get diamonds pretty much with Xander. You can go up to a okay. one aught and a one. You're gonna get golds. Um, you're gonna get golds with a two. You're gonna get silvers and golds. So this is kind of the biggest, what I'm using is kind of the biggest setup that you can use that you're going to get a little bit of everything on here. Okay. It's good to know. You know what? I'm actually going to move to a different side of this dock here. I haven't caught anything yet so far. Move over here. See what we can get. And the other thing about Xander to remember is they are more active at night, but they will bite all day. So there's really never a bad time to go Xander fishing, but I find uh, late at night, early in the morning is pretty good for Xander. I'm rolling away in my chair here. Oh no. Okay. Let's see what we can get. 
We got getting nothing so far, but yeah, this whole bay here is really good for Xander. They're kind of everywhere in this little bay. I'm not, I'm not getting anything right now. Yeah, I'm getting nothing either. Do we want to try the spot where we were yesterday at? Yeah, let's try that real quick. Because then we at least have some volume fish. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go get in a boat, and then we're going to go this way under the bridge, and then we're going to go northeast, and we're going to go up here, and we're going to fish along this coast, really kind of like out and about here. If you oh, kind of zoom in, you see some like green, some green areas here in the blue, and I've noticed I have a lot of luck fishing in the green areas Whenever you look in the water and you see the blue and there's a little bit of green in there, I tend to have a lot of luck in those areas. That's where we're going to go. I'm right here, Robo. Just come to oh. the end. Awesome possum. Let's I don't even know fish. if I've... I don't even know... Oh, there we go. I made... <laughs> nope, I didn't make it. Didn't make it. Okay, okay, I'll wait. There we go. There we go. I don't even know if I gave you that tidbit the other day about the little green spaces. No, you didn't. Yeah. Um, that's why I went to that spot out there. And the other, whenever you're driving you your boat. The map or what do you see? There? Yeah. If you pull up your map, um, you can kind of see if you pull up your map and you see the bridge that we're going to go under. Mm -hmm. If you kind of look straight out, you'll see some like a little bit of green off that island. And then if you look oh, south, yeah, you're going to yeah. see green there. And then if you go up to where we were fishing, you'll see little bits of green where we were fishing okay. yesterday. We got this. And uh, this is a very narrow, um, very shallow bridge crossing. Just heads up. I uh, have gotten stuck here more than once. See, that's why you have safety features on a boat. Um... <laughs> oh. But oh, do you have the with the Kinsko insurance, so you know. I We're don't good. know if I trust it, but uh I've got no other choice. Both? And let's exactly. this time let's keep going a little bit keep going north along the coast a little bit more and I'm gonna tell you when to stop. Okay. We might be going a little bit further north than we were the other day. Yeah, I assume we're going where the green and the blue is. Yep, yep. We're gonna kinda be okay. yeah. So there's some like green around like the point here, but we're gonna kind of be between those two spots. So I'm gonna go around the corner kind of as well. Um, not quite. You're gonna keep going, and I'll tell you when to stop. You're pretty close. Okay. I'd say, go ahead and stop now. Yeah, we're gonna stop here. Yeah, we're gonna stop here, and then there's green towards the point, and then there's green behind us too. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to try behind us. I'm going to throw front. Let's see what we get. And don't forget, if you're driving the boat, your fish will be spooked for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured. It's kind of why I wanted to drive so that if you catch something, then you have it on your screen. Gotcha. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to pull up the map here too, just so everybody can see where we are. Here's where we started. Main outpost, we're right up here. Yes, I have a, a general question, which I don't know if you're mm -hmm. going to be able to answer it or not, or if yeah. it's even known. But, like, you know how you have to level up your, like, your rod, reel, and lure that you're using? Yeah. Does that affect how likely it is that something will bite? I believe so, yeah. Um, I can't confirm that like 100%. It's like I've been told that by anybody, but I do believe um, that is the case. And I I think if you go back and like do the tutorial, it might tell you that, but that's the assumption I've always had. Is okay. Because I, mean, I don't know what else that would be for. It's what I've just assumed. Because I don't yeah. know what else it would be for for necessarily yeah that's what i was thinking because I, I was curious because like sometimes it levels up sometimes it doesn't mm -hmm. and so i was just curious if it had to do something with like the fish and if it affects your fishing ability as well yeah i think it might i think it might affect um 
the probability of you attracting a fish with a lure or with your setup that you have. So if okay. you've maxed out everything, you've maxed out the lure, you max maxed out the rod and the reel, that means you've really got a good understanding of how your setup works. And so you are more likely to use it appropriately in order to attract the fish. So I think that's kind okay. of the, the logic behind it. And that's what I've assumed. I'd have to go back and look at the tutorials, which I did last fall. So I don't really remember everything, but um, that's how I understand yeah, yeah. it. Okay. Ooh, golden game. Got a diamond eyed. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's a good idea. That's good. <laughs> golden what game. Was his name? Golden game. I think golden game is in my. If it's the same golden game, I think they're in my streams all the time. With Monster Cat? I think so, yeah. That's the only other person that they could be with. Uh, Monster Cat's in the Discord all the time. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah he is. With gotcha, them, yeah. yep. Nice, all right. Well, uh, you get a diamond eyed right there, everybody. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Golden Game. Appreciate you. <laughs> He's right there with Monster Cat. Diamond eye right there. There you go. Two for one, everybody. Two for one. Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be a small silver. To be fair, I am using a size three hook right now, so I, I downgraded mm. a little bit. Ten pounder, a little silver. There we go. At least we're getting fish on. That's what counts, right? Nice, nice, nice. Oh, interesting. So it'll be something a little bit different than normal tackle Tuesday. Cause I figure most people will be oop, fish on, and you got a nice silver. Oh, that's a good one. Nice. Plus, I just maxed up my grub, so you know. Nice. I got a small silver here, but I'll oh take it. Ken, come on, man. Let's let's get going here. Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I think it's going to be a bigger silver because uh, tension was a little bit higher than normal. I don't really get a lot of pike out here either. Oh, oh that's a nice one. That's a gold. Ooh, there we go, baby. 17.11 gold. That's what I'm talking about. Little screenshot. There we go. I still got a lot of work to do on my uh, rod and reel. So I was leveling that up. Wow. Nice gold. All right, everybody. I appreciate it. That's going to be it. We got a gold and some silvers out here. Like I said, here up here where we are, you're going to get golds and silvers. I haven't pulled a diamond out of here. Um, but like I said here at the beginning, right at the bit starter dock there, that's where you're going to get your diamonds, Xander. So that's all i have for this hotspot map if you guys have any other hotspots, let me know and go ahead put it in the comments for me and we'll check it out kensko thank you very much for coming and hanging out i appreciate thank you, you helping me, me. no problem catch y'all later